Hello, hi, my name is Crypto Nerd, and this is the second part of a three part video series in which I will be covering off what is Polygon, the various solutions they have out there, why I'm so bullish on it, and why I think you should own a bag of Polygon. As, as I said in my last video, I started disclaimer, I am a Polygon holder, but hopefully you'll find these videos informative into the reasons why I think, why I'm a Polygon holder and why I'm so bullish as our number of users out there. Before we get started, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, that would really help me in ensuring that these videos reach as many users as possible. So I really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe before we get started. Uh, in the second part of the third part video series, I'll be covering off Polygon Studio, Polygon Proof of Stake, Polygon ID and Polygon Edge. The first solution I'll be covering off is Polygon Studio. In July 2021, Polygon announced that they will be opening up a gaming metaverse arm of their business called Polygon Studio, in which they will fund 100 million US dollars into that project. Um, so the idea is that they want to essentially uh, bridge the gap between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. So they're targeting gaming projects so that developers can fuse their Web 2.0 games onto the Web 3.0 technology. Uh, so if we go into the website, you'll see here, it says uh, Twitter page, it said we aim to essentially serve the bridge between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. Um, it's worth noting the Polygon Studios website is not the best if you go on it. Um, I think it's still being revamped. Uh, but it's worth noting that there's been some big acquisitions in the Polygon Studio world. So currently the Polygon Studio CEO is Ryan Watt. This is quite significant. Is The significance behind this is because Ryan Watt was the former he global head of gaming partnerships at Google and the head of gaming at YouTube. So the... the probably the biggest companies out there so he'll probably have contacts there that he can target he'll be under a lot of a lot of pressure from polygon to deliver partnerships and at the moment he is delivering so just in march this year polygon announced that they entered a strategic partnership with poriverse um so poriverse was one of the leading um uh, games in 2021 uh, so you, essentially what they're looking to do is uh, lend and trade nfts to earn more uh, the reason being is very hard to get onto the Polyverse website. You have to have a high like budget. Uh, so what they're trying to do is uh, if you can lend and train your NFTs to almost uh, fund your projects, fund your NFTs on there. So that was a big partnership they announced last month. They also announced recently strategic partnerships with Nalanda uh, and Polygon Studios again at the end of March last year, last uh, last month, sorry. Um, and they also announced strategic partnerships with Arcade Network to uh promote metaverse in corporality again that was in march so they're, they're performing at the moment um the metaverse uh nft world has almost like plat plateaued recently um as we remember last year sandbox one of the leading uh, gaming coins went from 0 0.14 to eight dollars that's almost a ten thousand percent increase mana was another coin that went from 0 0.37 to six dollars rasty is one of my favorite coins uh, it went up a lot. I do think this this is probably going to be one of the coins to watch in 2022. So yeah, it's it's, it's good that Polygon are getting into that space. Um, it's almost good that they've they've kept that part of their business separate. So they've got Polygon Studio, they've got their own CEO there, keeping it separate from Sandeep and the rest of the team. So yeah, that's worth noting. So the next part of my video, I'll be covering off Polygon Proof of Stake. So Polygon Proof of Stake essentially is a layer two scaling solution that achieves unprecedented transaction speed and cost savings by utilizing side chains for transaction processing. At the same time, Polygon Proof of Stake ensures security and uh, works with the most robust technology. So just to give you some sort of idea, with over 1.3 million transactions recorded, 130 million unique wallets, 2.7 million active users, Polygon Proof of Stake is proven already uh, as the most, um, as, the, as the best scaling solution in Web 3.0. Uh, so yeah, so main main reasons being that transaction speed. Obviously, Ethereum has issues with transaction speed. Like they have fifteen transactions a second. With Polygon Proof of Stake, you can do sixty five thousand transactions at a fraction of the price. If you saw in my first video, you would have seen that the average cost I think was four point one dollars per transaction, and with Polygon it was zero point zero 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 one. So it's a stark difference. You can do hundreds of transactions if you have five dollars in your wallets. With comparison with your Ethereum, if you have five dollars, you can only do one transaction. So this is one of the, like this is one of their biggest use cases. If you ask me, is proving like the transaction speeds, the um, which Ethereum struggle with. So yeah, check that one out. In the second part of my video, I'll be covering off Polygon ID. Polygon ID is one of my favorite 
favorite things to cover off. Um, reason being is that we haven't really seen anyone like there's obviously been a lot of problems with fraud in the crypto industry. So Polygon ID is hopefully what they're trying to do is essentially make users comfortable with using Web 3.0 technology. So if we just cover this off, if I show you some articles. So if we go to the Twitter page, you'll see that Polygon ID was launched in March 2022. Uh, so Q1 of this year. In Q2, they expect this to be fully functional um, to some extent. So the idea is just to make people comfortable with transactions. If we take a look at the video here, you see a good de definition of it. As I said, it's about keeping your personal details personal, essentially. So for everyone wondering what the highlights of the Polygon ID are, it's to reduce complexity, on-chain private verification using the ZK query language. It's all about, as I said to you, building trust on the Web 3.0. Uh, prove your access rights, not your identity, aligned with Web, pri Web 3.0 privacy. I think this is one of the big concerns for people who are on Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 is the privacy. We've seen those hacks recently. Um, so yeah, it, it covers your KYC set checks that are standard in marketplace checks. So if you see here, you'll see the roadmap for Q2. So we can head over to the website. We can have a quick look. So yeah, in terms of uh, what's coming up. You'll see here. So scalable, permissionless identity at low cost claims and the technology is less listed below. I think this is a bit, another game changer for me personally. So Polygon ID, as I said to you, will build a trust of the consumer world that there's um, checks are being done to ensure that everything's everything's above board. And the final product I wanted to cover off was Polygon Edge. So Polygon Edge is a exchange sensitive framework for building private or public comp uh, compatible Ethereum compatible blockchain networks. So you can build your own uh, Ethereum chains on there. So you deploy your own blockchain networks with ease. So Polygon Edge enables you to run your own blockchain network with customizable features. It is guided by the principles of modular architecture and provides your free compatibility to your network. So you can deploy your own blockchains with uh, Polygon Edge. Again, as I said to you, Polygon has a suite of products. I wouldn't be making justice to any of it. I don't think I can. Um, one thing to note is that one of the disadvantages of this is that in order to get these projects up and running, they need to get funding. So sometimes the owners are selling their own coins. I think I've read in an article recently um, to fund some of the projects, they had to sell their own coins. Obviously, that has an effect on price, but I'm sure Sandeep and the owners are looking to the future. They're not looking at short-term trends. Uh, neither am I, neither are holders. So it's just worth noting that that can be a disadvantage of it. So uh, just in, to summarize, uh, we've covered our four products today, Polygon Studio. So Polygon Studio is the NFT gaming arm of polygon it's separate to polygon totally it has its own ceo ryan watt who was former youtube and google employee polygon proof of stake that is designed to increase transaction times um lower cost polygon id that's the security to make sure that everything's above board and polygon edge allows you to build your own blockchain networks with ease um so yeah if you found this video useful i'd appreciate it if you can hit the like and subscribe button uh, in my next final video, I'll be covering over the um, remaining solutions that Polygon offer. I'm also hoping as well, I might do an additional video where I'll cover off recently that they announced integration with Stripe. Um, they've gone carbon neutral and other facts. But these are some of the reasons why I'm really bullish on Polygon. So if you found this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll be dropping some more content soon. Thanks, everyone.